Hello students, uh, this is the first video on budget and budgetary control concept. Here I will explain fixed and flexible budget concepts. Besides, the most significant is the flexible budget is very important. On this topic, I will cover two problems which is very very important for the examination of graduate CSCS and CMA students as well as MBA and MCOM even. So let's start this concept. First one is fixed budget. What is fixed budget? The budget which remain constant, which will not change as per the need and requirement of the organization in the sense what the budget will remain constant, it will not change as per the change in the volume of output or turnover attained. It is a rigid budget and drawn on the assumption that there will be no change in the budgeted sales activity in the sense what while preparing this budget, we will make sure that the sales or the output will remain constant. It does not provide for changes in expenditure arising out of the change in the anticipated conditions and the activity. In the sense what this budget cannot be changed. Once it is prepared, it will be remain fixed. So the next concept is flexible budget, which is very, very important. So as per the Chartered Institute of Management Accountants, England, it is defined as flexible budget also known as sliding scale budget. So this budget in the name itself it is mentioned that is flexible. This budget can be modified, can be changed as per the need and requirement of the organization. If there is a change in the output, if there is a change in the production activity, this budget can be modified, can be changed. right? Here, the most significant is we will classify the expenditure into three categories. One is fixed, semi-variable or semi-fixed we can call it as and the finally variable expenses. So in these three categories, we divide the expenditure and we will prepare the budget for the management to make prudent decisions. Right. So we'll take up the problems which are very, very important. If you see the first question, the expenses budgeted for production of 10,000 units in a factory are furnished below particulars rate per unit. So this information which we are about to read is pertaining to 10,000 units material and labor variable overheads material 70 labor 25 variable overheads 20 fixed overheads 1 lakh rupees that is 10 per unit but we will take fixed is 1 lakh variable expenses direct 5 rupees selling expenses out of 13 10 percent are fixed in the sense rest of the 90 percent are variable distribution expenses 20 percent fixed out of 7 20 percent fixed and rest of the 90 80 percent is variable admin expenses 50,000 that is fixed prepare budget for 6,000 8,000 units admin expenses are fixed all level of production of course we'll take it as fixed expenditure only clear so this question is provided and in this question we have provided the information at 10,000 units and we are asked to prepare the budget for 6,000 and 8,000 units of capacity of production. When you come to the solution, I have taken again the question. When you come to the answer, we have to prepare the format that is flexible budget. I have prepared the statement wherein you will find the columns are particulars. 6,000 units, 8,000 units and 10,000 units. Clear? Then further we have the information based on that we have to divide the expenditure in the variable overheads, semi-variable overheads and fixed overheads categories. Like this we will divide the expenditure. Now first one material. So material is a purely variable expenditure. So material is a purely variable expenditure. How we will get the value of 6,000 units, 8,000 units, 10,000 units if you multiply with 70 rupees. So therefore here I have mentioned 6,000 into 70, 8,000 into 70, 10,000 into 70. Like this we will get the variable cost of each capacity of production 6,000, 8,000 and 10,000. As you are already aware, aware, sorry, already aware that the variable cost per unit will remain same clear at irrespective of the capacity of production then next is labor labor is also a variable expenditure again in the same way per unit i have taken so in total i will get the values 2 lakhs fifth uh, sorry 
one lakh fifty thousand and two lakh fifty thousand so on. After that, we have variable overheads again the same way we have done. The number of units multiplied with the rate per unit, we will get the values. Then next after variable overheads, we will find fixed overheads. Fixed overhead already we prepared a uh, heading. Under that we will write fixed overheads one lakh rupees each capacity of production. E either we produce six thousand, eight thousand, or ten thousand units. It will remain constant. Then we have variable expenses direct. Again, it is a variable overhead. Same way we have to calculate that I have done six thousand into five, eight thousand into five, ten thousand into five, so on. The values have been written. Once it is done, the next item is selling expenses. Here we need to do working note. Selling overhead is a semi-variable expenditure in the sense that it is a combination of variable as well as fixed component. So working note one. When you come to the working note one, selling expenses. What did he say? Ten percent is fixed. Out of thirteen, ten percent is fixed. In the sense, remaining ninety percent is variable. Therefore, ten thousand into thirteen is equals to one lakh thirty thousand rupees. Is the total variable, total semi-variable expenditure. Why did I take ten thousand? Because the information provided is at ten per ten thousand units of production. Therefore, ten thousand into thirteen, one lakh thirty thousand. Then fixed expenses is equals to one lakh thirty thousand into ten percent. That is thirteen thousand. Whereas variable portion one lakh thirty thousand into ninety percent that is one lakh seventeen thousand. In this way, we are segregating the variable and fixed at the level of capacity of production with the information we have provided. Once this is done, we can calculate variable cost per unit. How to calculate variable cost per unit? Variable cost per unit is equals to the total variable expenditure divided by number of units produced. That is one lakh seventeen thousand divided by ten thousand units is equals to 11.7 is the variable cost per unit once it is done we have to calculate the total semi variable cost at different levels of capacity of production that is 6000 8000 and 10000 so variable cost is 6000 into 11.7 plus 13000 is the fixed cost so total semi variable expenditure is 83200 in the same way for 8000 units 8000 into 11.7 that is variable plus 13000 is fixed that is 1 lakh Six thousand six hundred. Same way, ten thousand. We will get thirteen one lakh thirty thousand. These values we will be plotting in the respective columns. Clear. So in this way, we have to calculate the semi-variable cost of each level of capacity of production. Then next item is what distribution expenses. Twenty percent is fixed. The rest of the eighty percent is variable. Same type of working note. That is distribution expenditure. Working note number two. Distribution expenses total ten thousand into seven is equals to seventy thousand. Then fixed expenses seventy thousand into twenty percent fourteen thousand. Variable seventy thousand into eighteen percent fifty six thousand. Variable cost per unit is five point six. And at eight thousand capacity at six thousand capacity six thousand into five point six plus fourteen thousand forty seven six hundred. Then eight thousand. Then ten thousand calculations will be done. The same values will be plotted in the respective columns. clear so this is the way we need to segregate the data into fixed and variable component and the combination of these two values fixed and variable will be considered as a semi variable overheads clear once this is done we have leftover is admin expenses this is fixed one so we will be writing in fixed ex overheads admin expenses 50000 in each column right respective columns once this is done we have done with everything then make the summations We will get the values that is ten lakh eight hundred, twelve lakh seventy five thousand four hundred, fifteen lakhs fifty thousand. These are the total expenditure that is variable, semi-variable, and fixed. So total budgeted cost of six thousand units, eight thousand units, and ten thousand units. Clear? I hope I have uh, made you understand. I have given you clarity about how to solve this problem. These problems are very, very important as far as the university exams are concerned. We'll take a one question. So, in this question, we will find Johnson and Company produces an article. The estimated cost per unit are given below: material, labor, expenses. These are the three variable items. Semi-variable overheads are at hundred percent level of activity. That is ten thousand. Ten thousand units are hundred percent capacity of production. At this. Juncture the estimated semi-variable overheads are two lakh forty thousand. 
and these overheads are vary in respect of 12,000 each change in output of 1,000 units. In the sense, if 1,000 unit increases, variable cost will increase by 12,000. If 1,000 unit decreases, variable cost decreases by 12,000. So out of 2,40, we have to divide variable and fixed component. Fixed overheads are estimated rupees 3 lakhs. The selling price per unit is also estimated at 240. Prepare flexible budget 50, 70, 90 percent capacity of production. Clear? So we'll solve this problem. Again, I have taken the question for quick review sake. The same procedure. Come to the solution. Prepare the flexible budget at 50 percent, 70 percent, 90 percent capacity of production. At 50 percent, how many units we will produce? 5,000 units because at 100%, 10,000, at 50%, 5,000, 7,000, 9,000, so on. Clear? Then first is overheads, that is variable overheads, then semi-variable, then fixed overheads. Like this, we have to divide the expenditure. Why do we divide this expenditure? Because it is quite essential for the management to make decisions with regards to various types of expenses. Then next is material. Material is a variable one. 60 per unit, then 5000 into 60, 3 lakhs, 7000 into 60, 420, and 9000 into 60, 5 lakh, 40,000. I have presented in a little bit different way. Then labor in the same way, 48 per unit, we have calculated for 5000, 7000, and 9000 capacity of production. After labor, we have expenses that is 12 rupees per unit, so 12 into 5000, 60,000, so on, we have calculated. So material labor and expenses that is variable are done now semi variable semi variable overhead working note one come to the working note one semi variable overheads what did he say variable expenses semi variable 12000 rupees for every change in 1000 units of production so here we have to segregate variable portion and fixed portion so variable portion we are dividing how to calculate for every 1000 units the change is taking place 12000 for 10,000 units, that is 100% capacity of production, what will be the variable cost? If you do the cross multiplication, 10,000 into 12,000 divided by 1,000 will get 1,20,000 is the variable cost for 10,000 units of production. Out of the total cost, then cost per unit is equals to 1,20,000 divided by 10,000 units will get cost per unit is 12 rupees. Once it is done, we will take the fixed cost. Fixed cost out of the total cost of 2,40,000, 1,20,000 is variable. The balance left over is what? 1,20,000. This cost is refers to as a fixed cost. Once this is done, we have to segregate the expenditure. We have to, to calculate the expenditure at 50%, 5,000 units, 7,000 units, 9,000 units. Clear? So, if you see the table, I have clearly mentioned 50, fixed risk is remain same. 1,20,000, 1,20,000, 1,20,000 but variable is rupees 12 per unit. So 5,000 into 12, 60,000, 7,000 into 12, 84,000 and 9,000 into 12, 1,8,000. So we got the total semi-variable expenditure, the same values we will be plotting in the respective columns. When you come to the fixed overhead is directly given in the call question that is 3 lakh rupees. 3 lakh rupees is at every Capacity of production, either 5,000, 7,000 or 9,000 units. Clear? Once this is done, we can make the summation that is total cost we will get. Once we will get the total cost, we need to write the sales. Sales how much? 240 rupees per unit. So, 5,000 into 240, 12 lakh rupees. 5,000, 7,000 into 240, 16 lakh 80,000. 9,000 into 240, 21 lakhs 60,000. Then the balancing figure we are getting 1,20,000, 3,36,000 and 5,52,000. This will be called as profit that is sales minus total cost. So in this way we have to prepare. Clear? So I hope I made you understand the entire crux of the flexible budget concept. Please do watch the video, entire video to understand better. Clear? So I wish you all the best. Thanks for watching the video. Do subscribe my channel, mentor the trusted guide and motivate me to make more qualitative and informative videos for the benefit of the student community. At the same time, you can make the payment of fees through making some amount you can contribute towards this channel which will be helpful for me to improve the quality of the content. Thank you very much.